No Coming up on GMA, the incredible story of baby Lakshmi. She was born with eight limbs. Now, an inside look at her remarkable surgery and recovery. You won't believe how she's doing now. This week, 2020 and National Geographic take us behind the scenes of really a remarkable, life-changing surgery. A little girl born in India with eight limbs, four arms, four legs. Her little community in India thought her to be a goddess. Now, some of the video may be sensitive to some, but it is extraordinary. And ABC's Bob Brown brings us the story. It was a dilemma that involved science and religion and the destiny of a small child who was born in a remote village in India. Because the child was born with eight limbs, she resembled and was named for the Hindu goddess of wealth and good fortune, Lakshmi. And many in her village revered her as a reincarnation of Lakshmi. But this doctor from the city of Bangalore, Sharon Patil, believed she needed a surgical procedure to remove what to him was a medical condition that science had seen only rarely, a conjoined parasitic twin that threatened her life. The reason the infant Lakshmi seemed to have an extra pair of arms and legs. And so the Tatma family traveled more than a thousand miles from their village to Sparsh Hospital in Bangalore, a state-of-the-art facility where there was an agonizing wait while doctors performed a battery of tests to see whether surgery was even possible. These x-ray films revealed complications. Lakshmi's spine was joined to that of her parasitic twin, and doctors would have to figure out how to separate the spine without affecting Lakshmi neurologically. Poonam, we're taking her now. On November 6th of 2007, Lakshmi was wheeled away from her parents. Pediatric surgeons first made an incision to study the placement of Lakshmi's internal organs. Then neurosurgeons began the dangerous separation of Lakshmi's spine, where it was connected to the spine of the parasite. As the surgery continued, Dr. Patil began to bring the bones of Lakshmi's pelvis together so they could support her vital organs once the parasite was no longer attached. At midnight, 16 hours into the operation, doctors finally dissected and removed from Lakshmi's body the conjoined parasitic twin. Poonam, all is well. All is well. The operation is over. The operation is successful. Lakshmi is healthy. In her room, recovering from the surgery after sleeping soundly, Lakshmi began to open her eyes and move her fingers. For the first time, her parents saw the child who once had been the image of a goddess as an average two-year-old with two arms and two legs. Now, seven months after the surgery, Lakshmi is learning to raise and balance herself and take her first steps. The whole family believes she's a goddess. She will always be a goddess. As long as she lives, her name will be Lakshmi. Such an incredible story, and Bob Brown is with us. How difficult has it been for her to learn how to walk? It's been a little difficult because she still needs some surgery at the point where her spine was separated from the spine of the separated uh, of the uh, uh, the twin. Mm -hmm. They need to go back and perform surgery there. And also her feet were turned inward because of the position of the conjoined twin on her body. And so they need to do some more surgery to straighten her feet. And Bob, tell us a little bit more about the goddess she was thought to resemble. It was the goddess Lakshmi who was the goddess of wealth and good fortune in India and indeed she had brought good fortune to the village because it brought many visitors and so there was some trepidation among the villagers as to whether they wanted the surgery to take place there was an extraordinary scene you'll see tonight where the doctor accompanied the family to a festival for the goddess Lakshmi they brought the child and the villagers were extraordinarily respectful and worshipful of her when she came by thank you Bob and you'll see it tonight on 2020